if you thought you needed to wear helmet only to escape penalty from traffic police think again in an incident that took place on july 18th evening it was perhaps due to the helmet alone that the rider could save his head literally a person riding a brand new honda activa was thrown onto the road after a speeding bus tried to overtake it near yakur despite the hard knock from the bus the rider suffered injury only on his leg if it wasn't for his helmet, the injury would have been far worse. The express service bus Hadadia was flying from State Bank to Bitla. The rider was immediately rushed to the hospital. The bus driver who lost control drove onto the divider. Luckily, no passenger was hurt. That's not all. The bus driver Umar Salatur reportedly fled from the scene and was chased by the locals. He was caught at the playground in Yakur. Arguments arose and Umar insisted that the rider had suddenly taken a left and he was helpless. I have been driving on this route for the past 13 years, he said. When another group angrily demanded from the bus driver why he had fled from the scene, the driver had no answer. But later he meekly replied, I am fasting. One of the persons assembled there even slapped the driver and eyewitnesses said, even after nearly 30 minutes after the incident, the police did not arrive at the spot. A quick look at the tidbits. Kasugut police have arrested one person in connection with the fraud case, wherein the global trading solution company based in the town has cheated hundreds of people in the state to the tune of rupees 400 crores. It is learnt the company had promised investors double returns on their deposits. The person arrested is 29 years Sajid, said to be the director of the company. The company had Sajid's wife Khadija Nausha, Usha Kumari from Charwatur and Abdul Nasser from Andakulam as its board of directors. The arrest followed complaint by several people in Thirsur, East Police Station. The company which had initially promised 10% returns on the investment through exchange of foreign currency had later promised double returns. It is learned the company had depositors in Mysore, Bangalore, Palakkad, Ednakulam and Thrissur. The company office bearers were not at sight ever since they collected deposit receipts from depositors at a meeting conveyed in a school at Kasargod on December 1, 2011. Four people were killed and 44 others, including security personnel, Injured in stone pelting and resultant firing today morning when a mob attacked a BSF camp in Ramban district over alleged high handedness by a BSF team. BSF said its personnel opened fire in self defense with maximum restraint when a mob indulged in firing and tried to storm their storehouse of arms and ammunition. Inspector General of BSF Jammu Frontier Raju Krishna confirmed it. IG said that at around 6.30 a.m. today, as the police were investigating one person's suspicious movement, a mob of 700-800 people attacked the BSF post with stones injuring one constable. BJP has executed some developmental work in the city. The main development done by the former government was the concreting of the roads, which had been sanctioned under the previous Congress rule. Even when the work was not fully completed, they have been announcing that major development took place in BJP tenure of five years, which the other government did not do in spite of being in power for decades. The roads completed under the BJP rule are showing the results during the Congress rule. The rainwater, instead of flowing in the drains, flows freely on the roads. Because there are no proper drains or the drains present in some places are all clogged up. There are no proper footpaths, the manholes all over the city on the concrete roads were not properly done and are being redone one by one. If heavy rain pours for a few minutes, the city's roads in most places look like streams. Rajendra from Mudagere came along with his family to Manglo to visit a relative who has been admitted to a hospital. When he tried to park his car opposite the Kankanadi market, his car went over a huge stone by the side of the road and got stuck on it. Once again, the main headlines. Back off from Zimbabwe, Mugabe slams USA. Udupi District Handicap Welfare, wheelchairs distributed in Bindur. 
filming official assaulted Indian arrested in Dubai. Helmet saved bike rider, bus driver chased in Yakur. Fraud company cheats several, one arrested in Kasargod. No arrests on three year back shootout, Ravi Pujari gang behind Bivinje incident. Four killed, 44 injured, fire when BSF camp attack. BJP tenure road development, Mangla people moving to hospitals. With this, we come to the end of this edition. For more news and updates, keep watching V4 News 24-7 or you may also log on to v4news.com.